So we're doing the second coat of the old world Venetian plaster. I already have the base coat, and I'm doing the second coat application. Old world, basically a uh, skip trial technique. Put it on. Clean up the trial, come back and do some swirls. Now my old world, I like to do it a little bit smoother, so I'll come back and I'll flatten it out a little bit. This is what we call clean white Venetian plaster. Corners are very, very important. All the corners, you never do a skip trial on the corners. They have to be covered up 100%, always. That's one thing about that trial. Shout out, just clean up that edge. Then we come back and reuse it. So they're gonna put big baseboards here, so I had to smooth out these walls, so this one there's a big gap like that. Smooth this a little bit. With Mama Reno, always go in circular motions because in nature there's no straight lines. It's my one of my sayings that I always say. So then when this dries 100%, I do 100% coverage on my next coat and burnish it up. So the only thing the shine needs is the high spots. So that's an old world style technique. It's a skip trial. When that dries, I'll do it 100% uh, coverage. Very simple to do. You have this little top piece over here. So that color is like embedded in there. Corners are super, super crucial in any job. Come back with the trial, clean it right back up, and then I can reuse it. This is one style that us here at Forensic Enterprises started. 
Now, the proper way of doing the Venetian plaster is what we call the classic. A classic is three coats, nice and smooth, burn it up, all nice, solid, solid. One time, this was over like 15 years ago, a client said, I want it shiny, but I want to see texture. I don't want it to be smooth. So we created it textured on the second coat and then put the final coat, burn it up. So it gives you the shiny, it gives you the shiny smooth. It feels just like the shiny smooth, but then it gives you a little bit more of a dramatic look. So we basically invented that style. We call it the old world finish. It's something that we've been training people how to do for many years now. And the best part is that when we put the silver, gold, bronze wax, any tinted wax, it falls, the way it absorbs it, it absorbs it more in the areas that are not burnished than the areas that are burnished. So it's a different look, different style, you know, and that anybody can make a wash out. You know what I mean? It's not even about that anymore. You know, everybody wants to be the best at making it shine. Forget about that. It, different techniques, different styles, you see it all over the place. Now it's about, well, the way I always been training people is also about, not only about the shine, but about the movement. Your movement has to look pretty, because I've seen some people make really shiny walls. But if you notice, they only record it sideways. That's it. Or the pictures are sideways. You never see pictures forward. I've seen them. And they look like crap, because the movement looks like crap. So the secret is learning how to do pretty movement. You know, if you study my videos, if you study me, if you go to my YouTube channels, you see one of the things very important that I train is how to use the trial, how to move it around to give you really pretty movement. That's what's very important, very important. What's important to me is exotic way. The way I train my people, they have to have pretty movements. Like I said, I can get anybody to shine. It's not about shining. You know, I can get anybody, train them how to burnish behind me, great. But I cannot use somebody that all they could do is burnish. They're not worth anything to me, you know? They need to be more talented than that. Thus, I train my guys to do everything exotically. And somewhat I've been training you guys through the videos, through all these years, how to do it exotic way. There's still little secrets I do not teach. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna teach all my secrets. You, know, you have to hang out with me to actually get the little extra bonuses. And that, that's real. There's a lot of stuff out there that still there is to show. So as soon as you start sanding it, it goes straight to the beam, to the corner beam. So that's not good. So we want to put it basically a little thick. And then clean it up. Very important. So this is one trick that I do with the old world style. Of course, I'm a master of many different styles. I'm not a master of just one. That's to be even considered a master, you have to know how to use all the products. So this is the old world style. Thank you for watching. Exotic wall finishes and design.